uh, we'll discuss one is about a device drivers. So we discussed about an operating system, right? All right, this is. We discussed about a operating system. So operating system, kernel part and shell part, right? So in a shell, we are trying to interact with your. So in a in an operating system, so through operating system, we are able to run up applications. We can able to interact with our system, right? What is the kernel part of operating system? It actually understand your hardware devices. So understand hardware languages. OK, so normally we talk about a CPU, RAM and all. But a lot of hardware things are there. For example, uh, I'm speaking. So my microphone is receive my voice signal converts into a digital form of signal and uh, give it to our processing, right? And uh, what are you speak? I can able to hear through the speaker. But how it will convert a digital signal into voice signal, voice signal to digital signal, or maybe I'm playing a YouTube video, or maybe I'm playing uh, a audio track. So there is a chip called a audio chip. On, the, on, on our motherboard, we have a audio chip. How this our operating system can able to interact with the hardware uh, and our audio chip. So there is a requirement of drivers. Drivers is also a, a piece of program. It runs at a kernel level. Runs at a kernel level. So when I play a song here, when I playing a song here using a uh, some VLC player. OK, so what happened? So operating system does not understand how to interact with this audio chip. It use a help of this drivers, which is belongs to this specific hard. Um, audio chip. OK, graphic cards. So I playing a game. Normally, our CPU memory is not enough. The CPU is does not have that uh, multimedia capacities, basic capacities. So that much memory it is not there. I have a graphic card, so I have to install a graphic card related drivers. So then, when I'm playing a game or doing some multimedia kind of stuff, it can able to process with this graphic card. Maybe I connected a keyboard or mouse, or maybe. I have connected a printer. Printer is a hardware device I connected to a system. To interact with this printer, also we need a drivers. So then with the printer drivers, I can able to understand how to communicate with the printer device. I'm using a network, right? I'm um, uh, connected to a network, so I can able to transfer my data. I can able to browse. I can able to communicate with other systems. I can able to access internet. OK, that is a NIC network card is there. OK, this NIC is a device. How operating system we can understand through the NIC device drivers. OK, like that, these are the device drivers. What is a device driver? Is a computer program that operates and control particular type of device that is attached to you your computer. Device driver is in a computing refer to a special kind of software as a special type of software application that controls specific hardware device. Exactly see this is specific hardware purpose only the program is designed that enable different hardware devices to communicate with the computer's operating system. Okay. A device driver communicate with the computer hardware by computing subsystem or a computer bus connected to the device. So this is our hardware operating system and our applications. Whenever you install a device drivers for a specific type of hardware, so we can be able to communicate with that particular device. To communicate with the device, OS need drivers based on that device type. OK. Here I, I given an example, same example. 
you connected a printer you connected a printer to your computer or a laptop you are connected a printer you purchase a new printer you attached with a usb cable now you try to print you cannot able to print why because of your computer does not understand what is the device is connected what device is connected okay and how to communicate with the device it does not know so what it is required so when we attach a printer to a pc or laptop the system detects that a device is attached a device is attached it does not know exactly what device it is how to communicate with the device so first of all system try to detect what device it is connected there is a device is connected and what type of device the device related drivers are there inside a operating system or not inside operating system is there or not if it is there it load the dose drivers and so you can able to communicate if it is not there you have to install the device drivers if it is not there you have to install the device drivers once you install device drivers make sure that you are able to communicate with the printer and try to take a print okay it is update so it will take time to update and shut down so what we do i'll show how to attach a printer in this particular pc actually this is not meant for you this is meant for me only yeah so i am going with the first one because the first account is my admin account so i can able to I'm not uh, going. To, I'm going to another point. Here it is. The device management. So then, definitely, I will show this uh, printer edition. Okay. So just to understand this example, that is how to add a printer kind of stuff. Simple. You know, when we are using a Windows 98 uh, system, that time, if you connect a pen drive, it won't detect. So they what they will give they will give a a small cd or flappy disk which contains a drivers for it in earlier to that one so earlier to that one means in the 95 97 systems if you attach a normal keyboard it will work okay if you attach a multimedia keyboard means the keyboard contains uh, the audio uh, related like a mute uh, speaker those multimedia keyboard things are there okay uh, email uh, buttons direct buttons are given on the keyboard so what you do when you buy that one so they will provide a flappy disk with the uh, um, that particular uh, keyboards uh, drivers so you have to install the drivers first then attach a printer and uh, restart your pc sorry attach your uh, keyboard and restart your pc so then it can able to recognize the device okay so it is that device drivers to what is the device drivers purpose to recognize the device to work with the device to communicate with the device is these device drivers are helpful okay so later on days uh, there is a more sophisticated it means uh, for pen drives and all we don't require for few devices compulsory you have to install this device drivers for few devices generally by inside your operating system itself having that the generic drivers are there if it is suitable it load and you can able to work with it okay. how to check these devices how to check the devices so go to device manager so simply go to the control panel or you can use uh, dev mgmt.msc also this is a device manager in the device manager you can see there is a lot of devices in, in your system okay 
So audio input output. OK, this is for microphone and this is for speakers. Batteries, Bluetooth devices. If I install any Bluetooth devices, I uh, want to connect any Bluetooth devices directly. This is the one. OK, so I use my mouse. My mouse is a wireless mouse, Bluetooth mouse. Then I need a Bluetooth adapter to connect. OK, and uh, my system automatically detects there is a device is connected and is there any generic drivers are available in, within the operating system. It loads and we can able to connect it. If in case it is not able to detect. So what I have to do, I have to install the device drivers. You know, I have a older. Uh, sir, yeah, tell me, tell sir, me. is these devices are hardware or software? Hardware devices. Hardware devices. Yes. Bluetooth is hardware, right? Yeah, right. See cameras. Or this. Display devices. Frameways. Human interfaces like a keyboard mouse kind of stuff. Okay. Sir, so if these are hardware, then why we are installing uh, it? I don't know. Yeah, very good. Very good. So I got your point. Okay. These are the hardware devices. Why should we install a software for that one? Is it okay? that is the question, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, so I connected a mouse and uh, mouse is a hardware device. And you have an operating system. And your operating system should understand how to communicate with the mouse. If I move the mouse, you should understand I'm moving the mouse. This is the mouse device, pointer device. The functionality should understand to communicate with the device. So generally, it contains a built-in drivers for it, a generic drivers for it. OK, so with the software only, it will understand. Because these are devices are connected to hardware Hardware is attached, but how to interact with them, how your operating system can understand what it is and how to communicate with that one. OK, the how it will function. It does not understand that one. OK, so what it will do, it, it need a program. So why we need an operating system? We need a, a program to interact with your hardware to get a user interface. The same way to help your operating system to better understand what is the specific device well, the specific device you are operating system not understand you have to install the program okay for making understandable between your hardware to your operating system can okay that program will helps to interact with your hardware okay So this is a, my network adapter. See, I have a network adapters. OK. See, this is a, my actual Wi-Fi uh, adapter, which is built inside my laptop. OK. This is. OK. Um, so when this laptop installed with operating system, it may not understand uh, about the uh, hardware part of uh, this adapter which is built inside a laptop only. So what we have to do? We have to install the related drivers to it. So then your operating system understand how to interact with this particular device. OK, because your operating system itself is a program and uh, this is hardware device. So there is need uh, understandable language in between them. So these drivers will help to make understand between your operating system to your device. OK, can you see this working properly? And I'm going to drivers. So these drivers are provided. This is an Intel device, so provided by Intel only. OK, and this is the driver's date, driver's version, and digital signature. Because the Microsoft and Intel has to be agree with these devices works on the Microsoft operating system that distance signed 
drivers must be installed. So this is the your driver's locations, different driver's locations in this part. Just piece of code only. You can update the drivers. Okay, updating the drivers to improve the performance means the new driver's version is released based on this Butler hardware. So if you update it, maybe it will improve the performance, the working part of your hardware device much better. What is the rollback drivers? In case you updated a drivers or you install a new updated drivers, okay, after that one, if it is not working, what is the purpose of updating? To improve the performance, to uh, reduce the issues with the devices. So it should be give better. But after update, you are not getting better. Maybe you are getting a, some problem with your device. You can roll back to the previous. Previous is working better. Okay, then we are going to back. Okay, so that is roll back in the drivers. Disable the device. Okay, certain device is currently it is you are not using it, or maybe if you are uh, that is interrupting some other process, you can temporarily disable the device. Uninstall the device. So you want to remove the drivers because of the device is not working properly. So because of the drivers may causing that issue. Device is not working like uh, your adapter is not working. What we can able to can uninstall it because you are installed some incompatible drivers and it is showing here not working properly. So what you will do so you can able to uninstall the drivers and uh, reinstall the new drivers suitable drivers for it. OK, this is the device management. OK, what is the use of this device manager? We can view the different devices, their status and their working status, drivers. We can update the drivers. We can roll back the drivers if in case after update it is not working. We can disable the drivers. We can uninstall the drivers. OK, if in case it is you install a non-suitable. Okay, so that is the point. Okay, the screen may not be shown for everything every same way. For example, this is my um, printer drivers. I have a two printer drivers. It is showing only one printer only. So maybe we will try working properly. Cannot see that one. What is the driver's details here? Devices in printer folder. OK, details, events like this. One. But you have to do like this. Update drivers, disable drivers, and install the drivers. For example, I am no longer using this Butler printer. So I can able to uninstall the drivers. OK, so that's the point. And one more option. So this is my computer name, right click. Scan for hardware changes. What is the scan for hardware changes? You attach a device. You attach a, a device to your system. You attach a device to your system, and your operating system must recognize the device immediately using a plug and play service. Plug and play. What is plug and play? PNP. Plug and play. What is plug and play? When you attach a device, system will recognize the device. System will recognize the device immediately. If you not immediately not recognize, you can force to detect the device. You can force the machine to detect the device, like a scan for hardware changes. It will try to find any devices attached to my system. OK, if it is find the drivers for it, so it will load. OK, so that is plug and play. And uh, one more, if you see this down arrow mark, 
down arrow mark means the device is disabled. It is showing enabled means the device is disabled. So you can see the device is disabled. OK, you want to use this particular device. You have to enable the device. OK, it is a disabled symbol. OK, if I disable this one, what happened? My Wi-Fi network will be stopped to my system. OK, that is disabled. And another one is you may see in that yellow triangle or a big question mark. Device drivers. OK, so go to images. You can see there is a yellow uh, triangle symbol or a yellow question mark also in some places it shows yellow question mark. It means there is a device is attached, but drivers are not installed. OK, there is a PCA device is inserted, attached, but drivers are not installed. So you have to install the drivers to make it normal. OK. So like this. OK, so yellow means drivers are missing. So you can see this from here. What is this? Unknown device. OK, it means there is a device is attached and the drivers are not installed and there is no compatible drivers for this device. Find the drivers and install it. The down arrow mark represents it is disabled. OK, guys, this is a, about a device manager. In generally, whenever you install an operating system, like, a, you know, nowadays we go to the market and purchase a laptop, right? The really may not seem the desktop kind of stuff. You purchase a desktop or a laptop and you install an operating system. After operating system, so you may get a, the device drivers CD. Okay, the device drivers, the CD you will get it. Driver CD. Okay, related to your laptop or a desktop motherboard. So you have to install the device drivers. So then you can start using your the built in devices like uh, audio chip, graphical memories, um, network cards, you can able to use it. Any new device is attached. For example, as I said, printer is attached to your laptop or maybe you in uh, your desktop, you insert a graphic card. Then you have to download these drivers from Internet based on the device model and device manufacturer. So you have to install it. If it is comes with that product, it is good. OK. If any device like a network adapters, printers, that is already installed, it is working earlier. Now it is not working. What you can able to do it? Go to the device manager, find the device, and go to the device properties. OK, check in the general tab to make sure that device is working or not. OK, go to the general tab, make sure that device is working or not. So you can try updating the drivers. If it is not working, means generally it is not working. Try updated drivers or if it is already updated, still not working, you can roll back the drivers. Uninstall the drivers and restart the PC is also helpful. Sometimes, guys, these drivers also create a conflicts in your PC. So earlier it is working, 
now it is not working okay because of the device drivers not functioning properly it is good drivers only but not working so what you can do better uninstall your drivers from your system and restart your pc that drivers will be load again okay so next time it is loading it is without any conflicts or any problem so it will may work but when you are installing your drivers it will uh, ask uh, do you want to completely remove from your system or no so you say no don't remove from completely on your system just uninstall the driver and restart your pc may work like this think like this you have a system i connected a printer and maybe i have a network adapter okay so it is not functioning okay so it is attached but it is not working so you check all the connectivity led status everything but still it is not working there is one of, one of the troubleshooting method is go to the device manager go to the find out where is the device try to update the drivers if not working then uninstall the drivers restart your pc and it will work so this is also one of the troubleshooting part Guys, understand what is the use of device drivers? Yes, sir. So in the part of device drivers, so how to attach a printer? In generally, okay, you have a system. So like you have a laptop or a desktop. So you have a currently mostly we are using this USB connection. Earlier we have a parallel port kind of desktop. Now you have a USB port. Then most of the printers having a usb ports that is a usb b type b type type of connectivities for a systems we have a type usb a type we have okay so there is a cable first we have to attach to the cable to the printer then turn on your printer. What will happen? Your system based on the plug and play, this plug and play service is try to recognize you are connected a printer. You are connected a device first. You are connected a device. Then what type of device it is? It's a, a kind of printer device it is. And what model type it is? Okay, first it recognize a device is connected. Second, our system is recognize a printer device is connected. And it search for the drivers in the built-in system. In an operating system, in your system, already drivers are installed or not. Already the drivers related to the printer is there. If it is not there, if it is there, it will load and you can start working with the printer. If it is not there, then you have to install the printer drivers. You have to install the printers. How to install the printer drivers? Depends upon the model, you can able to download it. For example, I have a HP printer like this. For example, this is my HP print. Go to this printer, okay, 
and uh, find out this is the model or not then go to this basic drivers install the driver. download it and double click and install the drivers okay once you install the drivers take a test print take a test print okay so that is the process so first of all attach a printer to your pc or laptop okay and uh, turn on the printer turn on the printer or make sure it is turned on the system detects that detects that a device is attached and a voice has a device printer if voice has a, de a device a related drivers it automatically load install and load so then you can work with the print if not you must install the drivers once install the drivers make sure that it is able to communicate to the printer take a try to take a print or a test print Okay, so this is the installation of printer. And this type of thing we call it as a local printer. There is a local printer, shared printer, network printer kind of concepts are there. You attach your printer directly to your system that is generally like USB cable you are connected. So that is local printer type one. Okay. Let's understand how to attach your printer. Go to devices and printers. See, I have already two printers are installed. This is HP LaserJet P1007, and this is a, a Canon printer. Two printers I have already inside my PC. For you, I will show you how to add a printer, a dummy printer, which is actually printer is not existing here. I will show you how to add a some virtual array, a dummy printer in your PC. Okay, because really I do not have a printer. So I'm going to show you that one. The process, just remember, I'm going to the control panel. So in the control panel, go to devices and printers. Go to devices and printers. This side you can see add a printer. Add a printer. Can you able to see guys? Add a printer. Can I show you again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Control panel. What it is? Devices and printer. Add a printer. Guys, I do not have any printers right now. It is in my system and it is showing Epson. Uh, uh, it's something like a, maybe because of previous searching. Okay, really, I do not have any Epson printer. This. If it is there, if it is any printer is connected to your system, then it will show like this. Actually, it is not there. So the printer it was not listed here. Okay, here it is given a multiple options. If your printer is old and your system is not detecting, that is the first option. If you, any printer is shared in a organizations, internet centers, multiple computers are there, and uh, there is a printer shared from a system. So if you want to connect it to the shared printers, 
So then you can choose this one with a computer name and a printer name like that. OK, this is to connect a printer with a IP address. One second. Check on.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Oh, I'm muted. When I was muted. Uh, can you able to hear guys now? Yes. What point you missed? Last point or from uh, earlier point? Okay, I attached uh, another printer like that. Okay. That is enough for the basic uh, adding a printer. This thing is enough. And check the compatibilities, guys. When you download a printer, so compulsory, sorry, you download a device drivers, any device, whether it is related to the printer or maybe it is related to your graphic card or maybe it is related to uh, some device you are attaching. So check the architecture. So if you are having a 64 bit system, your drivers must be 64. If you are having a 32 bit system, drivers must be 32 bit. Okay, is it compatible to your operating system and your architecture is there or not? And also the device models, some models having little different. You know, when I was having a very old laptop at that time, I'm trying to install this network drivers, network, uh, adapter drivers both are connected connected only so to i downloaded two versions both are connected and connected only one is suitable everything is same only s and f something kind of difference is there so i downloaded it the finding out what the suitable drivers for that one so that first of all i run that program find out what is exact uh, suitable drivers for it then i downloaded it and i installed it Okay, so when you do format, you are completely remove your operating system from your laptop or maybe a desktop. Then you reload operating system. The device drivers has to be installed. So compulsory, make a list of what is the device, what is device model, and what device requirement. If you have a device drivers with you, you can able to remove OS and reinstall the OS also. Keep it that in mind. That okay. And the device drivers troubleshooting also I told. So, okay, compulsory go to the device manager. If specific device is not working properly, so go to the device manager and check for the device. And what is the uh, symbol it is showing? Is it down arrow mark or a, is it showing a yellow mark kind of stuff? Okay, like this. Okay, yellow mark means the device drivers not installed. Down black down arrow mark it represent it is disabled and also check your device it is not showing both the symbols but still not working check it it is working or not in the general tab still you are getting a problem then go to the drivers tab uninstall the drivers restart your pc and it may work but while you are uninstalling a device drivers you have to choose this no option means it will ask do you want to remove uh device drivers completely from your pc you have to choose no okay don't delete from your pc just uninstall the drivers and restart your pc that is a point okay so actually i want to continue uh, i want to explain what is the registry safe mode and uh, bs4d and uh, restore mode pass Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will explain all these things uh, separately. Um, it is depends upon you only. <laughs> okay. Depends upon you only. But I given the notes. So find out, guys. Simple terminology. I will tell. 
and next time if are possible any troubleshooting kind of stuff uh, that time i will explain that what is this registry the registry contains information about your entire system hardware information operating system information application user user setting information in the registry information for example you install an application that application information will be go to this registry actually it controls the function of your system you open the something like a, i open a picture and i open a notepad so it opens with a notepad dot txt file it is i open it it opens with a notepad if i open a docs docx it opens with a word document okay so why it is a thing okay why 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 it is how can you it is understand depends upon the register only okay so which application has to be open this specific type of file that is also in the registry okay so that is the editor and i will explain this troubleshooting part later okay what is the registry registry contains information about your entire system includes your hardware operating system application user user settings user applications and where is the application and uh, the functionality of application or functionality of your system hardware it's also decided by registry so simple one one point i will tell later if you have a time then definitely i will explain what is a safe mode guys we are using operating system in a full mode safe mode is a minimal operating system means basic operating system files basic device drivers only install for basic functionality only it will provide what is the purpose of safe mode safe mode is used for troubleshooting in the safe mode the most of device drivers won't work here for example you are getting a problem with the device drivers like a graphical drivers you are getting a problem so you cannot able to do anything in a full mode you can go to the safe mode uninstall the graphic drivers install the new kind of drivers it is okay so not all applications not all background services processes not runs in the safe mode only basic required to the safe mode related processes that only will run viruses antiviruses both won't work here <laughs> okay virus also won't react why because virus runs based on the background process it link to the background process the background process wise virus files will be controlled if background process is not running the virus is also won't react so you want to delete a virus related files you can go to safe mode and you can delete a virus related files antiviruses antivirus is also runs in the background controls the foreground process so you you can you want to remove this antivirus from your system okay so then you can go to safe mode and uninstall the antiviruses uninstall the applications and the drivers which you cannot able to uninstall in a full mode you can change certain settings which we cannot able to do it in a full mode okay so how to go to the safe mode simply restart your pc press f8 button then it will show the safe mode screen and select safe mode or safe mode with a networking so again once again what is a safe mode guys minimal operating system used for troubleshooting in a safe mode the most of device drivers background services applications process won't run even virus is also won't run the issues which is occur in a full mode which you, you cannot able to do it in a full mode that we can able to do it in a safe mode okay only few points one one point or a five minutes point only i'm telling okay the next one is system restoration what is a system restoration so for example you install an application after installation application your system is not working properly okay in case any system restoration point is set in your to your system we can go back okay you install an application 
system not working. For example, you updated uh, your drivers or maybe you change some settings. The system is not working properly. OK, or like a BSOD issues or system is slower or maybe not working properly uh, means uh, uh, some conflicts are created. If in case you have a system restoration point is created, you can roll back to the previous working place. That is a system restoration. For example, system restore. Okay, so this is a system protection. Turn on means system restoration is there. I want to restore like the system restoration point. There's no point is created. That's it is showing like this. You want to create it again. So click on the create. The system restoration point will be created. Usually the system restoration points created automatically when huge updates are happen in the system. System restoration point will be created. You install some bigger applications. System restoration point created automatically or manually also you can create it. OK, so the point is. What is the system restoration? We can restore your system to earlier to the system restoration point. We can undo the system changes by reverting your computer to previous restoration point. You may lose your applications and driver settings after restoration point. You may get an uninstalled application settings and drivers, which is done after the restoration point. OK, so these are the terminologies, guys. What else? Another one is BSOD, blue screen of death. That is separate. That is troubleshooting point. OK. Event viewers, this is also an important thing. OK because it's already one o'clock and uh, some people are already left i'm tell you if in case possible with your uh, friends guys you joined uh, later or something it is not a come and go class okay compulsory join on the time maybe five minutes ten minutes it's okay okay join the class be there till the class ends don't join at the ending of the class, joining at the starting of class, leaving in middle. Don't do like that. This is the class is for you only, not for me, not for your madam, and not for your uh, uh, 70s. OK, the class is for you to teach. These are the general things. And if you know this knowledge, so then you can make it possible to work on better way. OK, that is what I'm trying to say. So everyday attendance is almost 15, 20 members. See, Viva is came now. Ashish is came. OK. So what is the point? Everybody will come so and go uh, and based on that kind of stuff. Okay. This class is not for taking only attendance purpose or to give a questions also. I just having a problem. Ashish came now. OK, anybody left? Amir, Ayush, Varma, Vineet. So from tomorrow, guys, I'm going to start definitely networking. That is a very, very important. That is also a very important. Every point I'm telling a very, very important point. So I'll keep it always in the mind. Both the things. One is information needed to you to work, and another side in your interview point also. So compulsory attend live classes, be on the time, maybe five minutes is okay, no problem. Okay, but be till there the class ends. That is the first step. So which of these stuff been uh, asked most? Is this All the topics stuff? are important. Uh, it means networking stuff or work of it. Networking also networking essentials. What is a network? Different types of network topologies, IP addresses, OSI models, the devices. All are important. 
okay so means uh, all you have been teaching all the things you are teaching from the starting they should ask anything in uh, in this yes yes so this is networking basics okay so what is a network okay what is internetwork what is internetworking devices what are the different topologies okay okay what are the different networks okay in a home what type of network we use it okay so what are the network equipment? what is nic what is mac address what is ip address what are the cables we use it okay and uh, of course few points we are ignoring it okay different cables we use it so what is a nic what is a mac address what is an ip address how to check mac address how to check ip address what is a dhcp uh, if you got an ip address from dhcp server how to check it okay And what are the devices? What is hub? What is switch? What is router? What is the difference between hub and switches? What is a, a router purpose? Okay. So what is the router? What is the modem? Purpose of those things? How to check IP address? How to use the trace route to that one? Okay, difference between IP and MAC address, IP address classes, how to know which class of IP address you are using, what is subnet mask, okay, <laughs> what is private IP, what is NAT and PAT communication, what is this OSC model, and uh, using OSC model, how to troubleshoot network, okay, OSC model and TCP IP differences in some of the network commands. These are all important in a network basis. Okay. And another part is again servers and services. What is server? What is server? What is a server and client? Okay. What are the different servers are there? What are the server operating systems are there? What is meant by data center? What is bar group? What is domain? What is act2 directory? What is domain controller? What is a um yeah dhcp service what is dns what is a cloud what is office 365 what is a uh, what we can say that is uh yeah office 360 what is outlook how to troubleshoot outlook these things are okay this one This is BND questions. Uh, so here it is. See what is an IP address, importance of networking, DHCP, DNS, Act 2 directory. So, how DHCP assign IP address? How will you, if system is connected to a domain? Okay, what is DNS? What is an Act 2 directory? What is Windows and their versions? Okay, all are important. So, all those things I'm going to teach not only for interview purpose also you should know to work in your organization okay how to connect to devices what is os okay and if you have any doubt if you don't understand also you can ask me don't think like that so i won't give an answer system configuration so how many things completed okay Client and server OS money, just desktop OS and server OS. What is the purpose? What is the OS? Cloud computing, OSC model, virtualization, laptop configuration. Okay, Windows version about your training. What is the OS? What is DSCP? What is the DNS? What is RAM and what is hard disk? Okay, voice and it types, browser types web browser types okay what is OS? what is server OS? tcp udp differences windows 
about uh, uh, this is our answers and questions. OK, so all the points what I'm trying to say is is an important guys. So compulsory attend the, the classes which I am teaching to you. It's not uh, just a uh, part time right? It is important. The order is missed, so it's the last. Yeah, today's again I will uh, go into upload. Then I will give. Okay. This BS body and everything I will tell separately in the troubleshooting part. So tomorrow I'm going to start. Tomorrow is a Thursday, Friday, mostly on Saturday. Okay. To this week uh, uh, I may take Saturday. So these three days I'll try to cover maximum part of networking. So be everybody there. Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Amir okay. is joined now. See, at the end of the class. <laughs> Compulsory. Be there in morning 10, 10, 15. I will start the class. Okay. Study, guys. You have a time now. So compulsory, what are the notes are given? Please study if you want a previous class notes, which is I have downloaded and I can give you that one also. No visits here. Now only I put a name, HCL starting, right? So have a HCL. Um, No, maybe otherwise. Okay, first of all, stop the record. 